three here's my collection of tadpoles as you can see they're all in different little containers I split them up according to size um, we'll take a closer look they're all about three weeks old three weeks and three days exactly um, um, some frog laid eggs in our front pond which was supposed to be chlorinated so I rescued them the next day before the pond got emptied um, as you can see we're feeding them lettuce there's a few different ideas about what you should feed them um, and if you should freeze the lettuce or just boil the lettuce or if you use iceberg or cos or fish flakes but personally these guys seem to be pretty happy on just frozen iceberg lettuce these are my babies, they're tiny um, any of the ones that have died have pretty much been in this lot I think they die when they're really small but once they reach a good size they seem to survive okay these are the next ones they're a little bit bigger they're pretty ferocious little hunters of lettuce Quite cute at this age. And my next tub. A little bigger again. I'm trying to put them into bigger containers and have less of them because they're supposed to have about a litre for each full size tadpole. But as you can see, I'm currently short of a few containers to put them in. And I'm going to have to get more if they're going to um, grow up. Um, apparently if you put too many tadpoles in one container then they release a chemical which restricts the growth of the other tadpoles and that's one of the reasons why I split them up to size and my last lot these big huge ones here monster tadpoles here's my biggest you can just see on the top He's starting to get a bit of a green tinge to him and he's going to grow up to be a nice big fat Queensland uh, green tree frog. I did a lot of googling to start with just to make sure that they were tree frogs and not cane toads but apparently cane toads are 